just tell me what what driving you nuts. I'm too I'm too rich and I'm too famous to be sitting with these people and cleaning up their in the jungle, my man. And this cast is devaluing our fame right now. I'm sitting next to VH1 comedians that I've never even seen before. I'm sitting next to wrestlers. I'm like, this is just not the show. I thought it was about to be all celebrities. Stars of shows get treated like stars, dude. Don't throw me in the jungle and try to make me a little guinea pig torture act. Whoa! What they lack in humility, the couple known as Spidey make up for with the tangled web of scandal and rumors they spin. And we're getting to the bottom of all of them right now. That's right. Please welcome Heidi and Spencer Pratt. <laughs> Mrs. Pratt, we got a lot to talk about. All right, so you joined the cast of this reality show. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here, right? Because you want you uh, you wanted to raise money for charity. But now, after a few days of being in Costa Rica, you guys quit the show three different times. Now, now some say that it was because you yeah. thought, as we watched here, that you were too big of uh, celebrities to be with the people you didn't know, VH1 and the wrestlers and. Okay, why'd you leave the show? Recently, I've been eating lots of humble pie before I came here, so yeah. I'm a little, little less. Uh, Cut you down a couple. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, we had no idea. We didn't watch the show before we signed up for it. I didn't read the well, contract. Not, there was, this was the first time in air. There was no show. It was in English. English. It was in no, I didn't read it. I, I, oh. was, I learned a life we lesson. We trusted too much. I trusted agents oh. and lawyers and managers who just ooh, signed away. But wow, I'm gonna start reading things yeah, before I. You really think that you are the biggest celebrity? In the world? Actually, Obama is tied with Spidey right now because he has the White House. If we lived in the White House, I would say we'd be number one. But you know, one time, a long time ago, John Lennon, I believe, said the Beatles are more famous than Jesus, and he got in so much trouble. I so you have to watch that. those type of grandiose remarks. Oh, Jesus is Jesus the most famous. Is I would yeah. never. Wait, let me ask you about Jesus, and then I want to go back a bit. But you were you had a water baptism. <laughs> Speaking of the Lord, um, you were baptized by Stephen Baldwin. You had a water baptism that was... right on the show. And this was something that a lot of people criticized. They didn't know if you were doing it for the right reasons. Um, I, I actually thought it was a great thing that it happened. Was this I, I was like legit? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not going to speak for Stephen, but what when I was around Stephen Baldwin, I'd never met him. Right. The guy glows a love energy, like the just the most what I want to be. You know, I'm a pretty angry person sometimes. So like, if I could be more Honest. like that, like so I was like, what do you do? And he's like, Jesus, man, he saved me. I was like, let's go. You know, like. Yeah. It was just like, it, he, it was like the red or blue pill in Matrix. I took whatever pill. Well, has he it was, made a difference? That gl have you well, got now that I try to think before I say and things. And that was oh. after everything. Do you notice a difference? difference? I noticed a big difference, and that was after his emotional, you know, breakthroughs. Did you get money that. to return? Um, Did you? I, we definitely, uh, maybe. I, I, I would not. Yes, I don't read those contracts. That's Come my on. problem, honestly. Yeah. Good good you know whether you've got more money. you got to read, Spencer, always read your contract. You can I just say it right now? <laughs> as much business as you guys have done, you with the hairspray and the cleaning yeah, stuff I and everything that you're doing, my trash shampoo. you better get yourself together or you're going to be in the street. Yeah. You or better jail. start. Or no, 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 no. You're not going to be in jail. But if you don't start, if you can't. These questions of yes, I signed it, I signed it because I wanted to do it, or yes, I did this because I wanted to do it, or no, I didn't. You're gonna have to take responsibility. You're too old now. See, last year it was cute, now you're adults. <laughs> I have a question for Heidi because yeah. I read a quote that you said your goal is to be a true disciple of Jesus, the aforementioned Lord, and Mother, uh, Mother Teresa helping the poor and the hungry. Yeah. Now, I also heard that you're opposing for Playboy. Do you think Mother Teresa would have done that? Um, I'm more of a modern version. Of Mother Teresa. So, uh, a topless version of Mother right. Teresa. But also, I cannot, uh, that's I can't, that's your body. I can't, uh, confirm that, but, you know, it is a very reputable magazine. Many people so have, have done it. Have and done you have done it. And you read it for the articles, um, no doubt. Yeah, actually. Right, many articles. You, you, you did post for Playboy. Um, I cannot technically confirm. <laughs> I, I would love to do it. I might have done it, but I would do it very tastefully and not necessarily nude. So but maybe if you I had would do done it. Was version. it done tastefully? Yes, very by, tastefully. By a, a famous yes. photographer such right. as Matthew Ralston, maybe. 
Maybe, you know, possibly. possibly. When it might come out in what months and uh, did it? In August. August 15th, if it were to come out, the day after my birthday. Oh, wow. you know, so I didn't want to send me presents. Oh, was that what you asked for for your birthday? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Hugh Hefner knows how to give great presents. My goodness. A little bit on, on uh, what what we talked about. I, I, you want to get a plug in for your shampoo? Oh, yeah, this way? is my dry shampoo. Don't spray it. I'm not, I've, I already got for I'm not spraying it. I got the warning for which you're getting paid and you kept spraying No, yourself. actually, this is my own product that I made for the jungle that is not even for sale you made yet. It for the jungle? Yeah, I made it for the jungle. It's eco friendly like and everything. The yeah. Okay, okay, now I want to ask you my semi serious question. <laughs> the two of you are. Adorable. You are great marketers. You are famous for nothing except being famous. You do reality show Amen. after reality show, and you're great at promoting yourselves. Wonderful. But when you look ahead, five years, ten years, what are you going to do with your life? And is that spray you still going to work in the jungle? I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> you know, are you going to try to be actors? Are you going to take some lessons? You, you cannot just go through your life being adorable and doing reality shows and being famous for being famous. Yeah. Do you think about that? I didn't until I was recently saved. And now, honestly, I try. No, honestly. I'm, I'm being yeah, serious here. Because I consciously now want to be a better person. It's, it's yeah. very hard for me. It's really, I'm working I on it daily. Better. I mean, having, doing something that, for which you can make a living besides being famous. I mean, it's, it is a very parental question that she's asking <laughs> you. And you know, I say, my mom and dad, I say to my mom and dad, I say, mom and dad, I live in the moment. You know, I don't plan that far ahead. Oh, we may so not have don't to don't do that, baby. Well, here's the problem just, now is that you're not, I will say this, so just a, ma a married person. When you are together, you living in the moment kind of uh, it sort of takes a new new general picture because you have to live in the moment with the responsibility of having someone else on that ride with you. So I think right. that now that you're reading contracts and I think and you're actually going to be more responsible. You're going to be more responsible. Yeah, you're going to you. really, really live in the moment when you're wealthy. Well, they are wealthy, <laughs> but Whoopi is saying they're going to lose it we with the living in the moment. We do have a lot of things that we're planning. We do have a future. We do have step by step. It may seem very spontaneous and crazy, but there's always a rhyme to the reason. And we do have things that we want to accomplish. And like kids, um, maybe you guys. No, 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 that's that's we need to have a. Political, I'm actually you know. Pratt Palin, 2015. Pratt Palin. So you're going. Oh, to, you're taking going the first line there. Like, no, 100. But no, you look. If George Bush can do it, you can do it. Thank you. You know, you you were recently apologized to Lauren uh, Conrad because you spread it rumors that she had made a, a sex tape. So you did apologize to her. I apologize because that was how it got her to our wedding. She came to the wedding because you guys weren't because speaking, and then she came. So I said I'm sorry because she said I will come to the wedding if you say I'm sorry for something I didn't even do. Did so, you really oh, want her? But he hadn't done it. Remember we talked right. about we it. We had so not I apologize done for something I didn't do to make oh, somebody so you feel never, good. You never about spreaded myself. the rumors. Absolutely not. About it's not a rumor. It was fact. Okay. TMZ confirmed that. Oh. So now that you apologize, so she would come to the wedding. Was that for, for Heidi? For my wife, you know, because that was the one wedding. person. I wanted her there. Well, okay. Because I thought it would be oh, yeah. a good way to really have a fresh start. And I think being married, it's very important to have no negativity and to really start our lives together. And I didn't want anything like that in our lives. And I thought this is a moment to what really start. What about the I love them. You love them. Do you call them to tell them where you are? Because you're all over the I don't, magazines. I don't need them. It's ESP with them. us. It's yeah. Well, you know, I'm not saying that like you're good sports. <laughs> you are good sports to come on with you us. Are. But you don't are. please expect me to vote for you for president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank coming. It, they, it, like Barbara said, you good sports. Thank you for coming by and clearing stuff up. We'll be right back.